Hi guys, it's Madeline again, and I just want to apologise first of all for being AWOL for the last fortnight or so. Uh, special apology to my friend Murren, who you may remember from my vegan adventures in Dublin video, because she is the sweetest of sweethearts and always tells me how much she loves my videos, and she's always asking when the next one is coming out, so I'm back Murren, yay! <laughs> um, things have just been a little bit mental for the last little while and I kind of wasn't really in the headspace to be making videos but I'm back now it's all good and I'm back on my kind of at least once a week video schedule so let's go I have a day off work today but I'm kind of going to be using it for boring stuff doing a food shop um doing the washing things like that just basically getting myself sort of reinstalled in Dublin because I'm working up here for a few weeks but I'm going to be up the walls so I need to get it all sorted now but I said even though you know it's gonna be a bit of a mundane kind of day I would use it as a chance to make another video and I'm gonna bring you on my food shop because I have to do a pretty big like full restock food shop because I haven't much food left up here at the moment so I said that I would make a video out of it because when I was just going vegan I appreciated vegan food haul videos because it gave me some ideas for what I could use as sort of like my canvas to work my meals from during the week and because sometimes it can be a little bit overwhelming when you step into a supermarket and go oh my god like what can I actually eat out of all this so that's what I'm doing today big supermarket haul a few bits and pieces from a health food shop and the rest from kind of a big supermarket then I also have a little trip to Lush planned with my wages, so I'm really excited about that, so let's roll! stock of what I have because I can't even remember everything I bought now. First of all, do excuse the uh, furry hand puppet. It's for work, I promise. Um, okay, so first of all, we have our kind of oh, the brown rice, our sort of fresh section. So I have some spinach, some potatoes, cucumber, spring onions, peppers, spiralized carrots. Thought that was kind of cool. A little bit lazy of me to buy that. Um, then I have my garlic, my ginger. I got some celery and bananas as well. Then I got a few herbs, so I have my mint. I have my dill. And I also got some frozen chopped coriander. That's kind of cheating a little bit, but I use coriander an awful lot. So instead of keeping buying it, I'm just gonna have this lad in the freezer and just take as I need it because I find that fresh can wilt pretty quickly in this hot weather even if it's in the fridge and I won't use it all quick enough. So that is everything I have fresh I think. Oh and an onion mix. Even though I hate chopping onions but they always make things taste so good. Okay so next we have kind of dried stuff and store cupboard stuff. So I have some mandarin segments here. I'm going to do like an Asian rice salad at some point over the week so I'm going to put those into it. I have coconut milk, I have veggie stock pots and some tomato puree, some wraps as well, they're like 50-50 best of both white and whole grain. Then I also bought some vegan mayonnaise as well. I was planning on doing a sort of edamame mash 
sandwich filling for this week and I realised when I got back from town that I forgot the edamame. So I'm going to have to figure something else out but I'm thinking maybe chickpea tuna, something like that. It won't go to waste anyway, I'll figure it out. Then, and of course, big bag full of brown rice, always good. Okay, now we have our little frozen section. A lot of it's kind of semi-convenience food but it is so much healthier than getting a takeaway and that's something I'm tempted to do quite a lot when I come back from a day of work and especially now being back up in the city and takeaways are so readily available. If I have all this stuff ready to go that I know will be quick, I won't be tempted. So I have a nice veggie stir fry mix, always good. I have some spicy bean quarter pounders from Aldi, which are vegan. Then, oh, I wanna show you these. These are really cool, actually. They're little kind of, they're, they're called the Super Tasty Super Mixes by Four Seasons, got these in Aldi. And they're like a ready to cook sort of rice dish, bean stir fry, couscous, all that kind of thing. There's all kinds of variations of them, but I got these three. This is a rice and bean stir fry. Here's a giant couscous and veg stir fry medley thingy bob. And a three bean stir fry. I've tried this before. This was in one of my other videos. And it was really, really tasty. And it was so quick and easy. And I just paired it with a bit of rice and it was ready to go. So I said that I would try out some of the others because it's a really cool idea just like chuck it in the wok then you have a rice dish all ready to go and they're all vegan, all really tasty, lots of tasty kind of veggie filled looking ingredients in there. A little bit of oil but that's okay too and so yeah they're going to be helping me out as my little saviours in the evenings when I'm really really tired. Then I have some oven baked jackets always handy to stick in the microwave and I have some frozen fruit as well I have an exotic fruit smoothie mix and I have a thing of a thing a container of frozen pineapple as well I'm thinking like a pineapple fried rice at some point and maybe a pineapple and chickpea tikka masala I'm not sure I'll see how I'm going but I have it there anyway if I want it now I kind of have sweet things and cheeky things <laughs> that's okay too I have pecan and maple crisp cereal a couple of these sprinkled on top of porridge is really good now I don't know if I can be trusted with this box of cereal because I have been known to go through an entire box in one day because it's really good but I'm gonna try and ration it out now and just have a little bit on top of say fruit salad with yogurt or porridge or something like that just a little sprinkle of it just for crunch and flavor then I have my little bit of vegan chocolate because you know, a little bit of what you fancy does you good. Just kind of measure these out a little. I don't know how to pronounce this. Is it Vigo Bar or Vago Bar or I don't know, but it's really good. And then a little bar of eye chalk as well. So I'm just going to measure these out over the week now. Just a little bit here, a little bit there. I have my medjool dates, always handy. I think I might make some bliss balls with those. So yeah, I'll figure something out. Then I have some apricot jam as well. The Chivers jam is actually vegan friendly, so that's great. So maybe I'll go for apricot bliss balls, not sure, I'll figure it out. Um, I have some nice raisins, that'll be good in porridge, some chopped walnuts for porridge as well, and then I have some Alpro vanilla yogurt as well, which might be nice on top of the frozen tropical fruit. So that is pretty much all of my spoils for the day, just to get me sort of resituated and ready to go. It's a lot of frozen stuff, a lot of stuff that'll keep for a while so that's all good and it'll kind of set me up with my basics for quite a while now. Now on to the really fun bit. <laughs> so this is what I got in Lush today. I'm really excited to show you. Now let's see. We have cupcake face mask which is absolutely gorgeous. It's a chocolate face mask, chocolate and mint. It has cocoa butter, linseed, cocoa powder, and peppermint spearmint and sandalwood oil as well. It's really good for oily skin that's prone to breakouts. My skin has kind of not been playing fair at the moment, so I have turned to this guy to hopefully sort it out a little bit. You keep it in the fridge and then just slather it on and it smells amazing. Absolutely amazing. I love this. Then I have something new that I haven't gotten yet before. It's called Dark Angels. It's a cleanser, kind of like a cleansing clay thing. It is designed for those who want a more exfoliating, absorbent cleanse with rasool mud, avocado oil, and charcoal powder. And 
smells really nice, really fresh, and it is kind of <laughs> kind of looks a little bit like coal, I guess. Um, but that is also supposed to help with oily skin and breakouts. Um, the Rasul mod, I think, is meant to like absorb up the oil in the skin. I think that's how it works. It was recommended to me anyway by the sales assistant. So I'm gonna give it a go, see if it helps me. That's vegan as well. Um, and so is Cupcake, by the way. Then I have this little guy. It is a toner tab. And what you do with these, it's a tea tree kind of, oh, yeah, it's tea tree kind of thing. And it's basically for a facial steam. So what you would do is you'd put this into a bowl, then fill up the bowl with boiling water. Then stick your head over the bowl, put a towel over your head and just steam away. <laughs> and apparently what you can do with this after you've steamed is let it cool down, then put the toner water into a kind of bottle or a spray bottle or something like that. And you can use it as toner for about a fortnight. So dual purpose, always good. Also vegan as well. And then finally, I have these guys. These are Lush Toothy Tabs and this particular flavour is Sparkle, so it's an explosive blend of fresh grapefruit and pepper for teeth so shiny they'll stop traffic. I love these because they're a little bit different, they're really cool. Um, they are like just little tabs, they almost look kind of like tablets. And what you do is you just take one out, you chew it, kind of grind it up in your teeth so that it starts to froth a little bit, and then you just brush your teeth as normal and there's no harsh chemicals in there, it's all completely vegan and the flavours are really nice, it's like a nice change from kind of the standard minty toothpaste taste so I love these, I've just run out of my last bottle, I had a kind of cool gold one last so I'm excited to try out a new flavour. So that is my little Lush haul and I'm really excited to start trying them out. Word all decked out for anybody who wants to know what a chocolate face mask looks like on. Yes, I am well aware that it looks like I fell face first into a cow fat, but it smells too good to care, to be perfectly honest. Um, so just another word on Lush. It, yeah, it is a little bit pricey, but it is 100% worth it. It is, Lush is completely against animal testing. A lot of the products are vegan. It's all kind of made from natural ingredients as much as possible. There's minimal packaging and what packaging there is is all recycled. It's really really super. There's amazing stuff in there. Like if you walk past the shop just the smell alone will like beckon you in there from halfway across the street. If you've never been in Lush definitely have a look because I highly recommend it. It's one of my favourite shops to go into. So that is my little treaty Lush haul and a week's shop. I realised that I've done a lot of what I eat in a day videos but never kind of a proper food haul. So that is the kind of stuff that I would be buying as a vegan. So if anybody was kind of curious or wondering what to be buying in their weekly shop as a new vegan or kind of just experimenting with plant based, that's how I do it. Again, totally, it's not how all vegans have to buy, have to shop, and it's certainly not how all vegans have to eat, but that's just the way I do it, if anybody wants a few ideas. So that's it guys, and hopefully I will see you soon in a couple of days.